In winter, Uonoa Valley is covered in heavy snow that can reach several meters high. In 1922, in Nagamori, Muikamachi, Niigata Prefecture, the Hakkai Sun Brewery Company was founded in this heavily snowed area. Since its foundation, Hakkai Sun Brewery has always seeked for the highest quality sake and to deliver the greatest quality sake to its many customers. This is the company's mission, and for this, the company has established a new production working environment. This is the number two Koa Gura, Hakai san's newest sake factory facilitated to produce the highest quality sake the company aims to achieve. The number two Koa Gura was built in 2004, having 5,235 square meters and 66 three ton tanks for sake preparation. This factory is built for regular shoe and honjozo sake. It's a state-of-the-art facility which allows for the production of the highest quality sake to meet the market's demands. Say no. However, this facility is not simply aiming for efficiency. How could it be efficient but yet have a suitable environment to improve the morale of its workers to concentrate on sake making? It is designed to provide the best environment for its workers so that they can perform to the best of their ability to produce the highest quality sake. One of the major characteristics of the number two Kowagura is the building structure itself. The factory has three floors. The top floor processes the raw rice material. It performs washing, soaking, and steaming, as well as rooms for shubo and koji making. The second floor has tanks that are used for the preparation of moromi mash, and the tanks sit on the first floor. Adjacent to the tanks, are the press room and the filtration area. In other words, each process flows from the top floor to the lower floor. This allows for a smoother workflow and increases efficiency. Polished rice, which is milled by themselves, is delivered to the factory. This is the start of the sake making process in the number two Kowagura. Hakai san uses only highly polished rice for sake making. It is polished down to 60% for regular and 55% for honjozo. The standard polishing rate in Hakai san is as high as the ginjo shu in many other breweries. The rice, right after it is polished, is extremely dry. It cracks and lowers its quality if the rice is soaked immediately after it's polished. To avoid this, it is necessary to have rice slowly absorb the moisture in the air. This process is called karashi, or curing. The wooden rice storage tank. This is designed to allow breathing. The rice is stored in respect to the different uses and depending on what the rice is for, they are stored in 40 different storage tanks. They are designed to meet the most suitable karashi, or curing to settle. After the polished rice is settled in the karashi stage, it is sent up to the third floor through an automated device and a dispensing machine which can measure a minimum of 500 grams in its weight. The weight of the rice has to be strictly measured since it's an essential element for starting the sake making process. Washing machines and soaking machines installed on the third floor are originally designed. These are designed to reflect and imitate the motions of the human hand. Small sized washing machines are lined in three stages and they can do the job quickly and efficiently. 
The Autosoki machines are smaller than conventional types. The machine has a special design inside that has what's called sonoboard to improve the water drainage. The reason for making the soaking tank small is to manage the time for filling and draining the water in the tank as quickly as possible. This is developed with the concept of limited soaking. Also, small sized tanks allow a smaller volume of rice which enables an even penetration of the water into the rice. Akai-san manages the water content in the rice by measuring the time to the second to get the ideal performance in the soaking process. Each grain of rice should have an adequate water content after soaking. For this, the rice is placed in the tanks overnight. Over the night, the rice that has completed the limited time soaking is then sent to the steaming process. The volume of the rice grain in the steaming machine is controlled to 24 centimeters thickness. This is very thin and the reason for having this thin layer is, again, to distribute the steam evenly to the rice in the steaming process. This steaming machine is capable of controlling the steam temperature much better than conventional Japanese steam cookers. Furthermore, it can spray dry steam. The rice steamed in this machine can produce an ideal condition for the rice for sake making. Hard outside shell and soft inner core. Making koji is a very important process in sake making. Hakai-san has three koji making rooms. Each is made to produce the most suitable koji used in different stages for the sake making process. The first and second koji room have thermostats that easily control the room's temperature between 30 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius without any risk of fire or smell and also regulates the humidity. The koji table has a scale to weigh the water content in the rice. The required moisture in the rice is measured in real time. State-of-the-art machines are installed here because this is such an important process. Hakai-san applies the same method of making koji for regular to ginjo classes. From sprinkling the seed fungal, most of the work in koji making is done by hand. The ideal koji is made by experienced kurabito workers by hand. Kudabika workers perform their abilities in the most suitable facility and environment to make the ideal koji. Shubo or seed sake is literally the mother of sake. The Shubo room has the same number of tanks as the Moromi preparation tanks because Hakai-san keeps a one-to-one -one ratio for shubo tanks to moromi preparation tanks. Four kurabito workers stir the moromi mash for 30 minutes. It is the same procedure used when making regular sake. It takes two weeks to make shubo. The shubo tanks during this period are carefully managed and controlled to keep the most suitable temperature to make healthy and strong yeast that survive through Hakai-san's low temperature fermentation method. In the freezing winter, they are sometimes put into heated barrels or covered with heated mats. After the shubo making process is completed, the next process is the moromi mash preparation. The mouths of the tanks placed on the first floor are located on the second floor, 
This structural design allows an easier and smoother workflow for Moromi preparation process after the steam rice, koji, and shubo are made on the third floor. Sandan shikomi, or preparation in three steps, is commonly practiced in sake making. The three steps are soe shikomi, naka shikomi, and tome shikomi. Preparation in three stages avoids the growth of undesirable bacteria and allows for a smoother fermentation. This is one of Japanese traditional methods of sake preparation. The 66 tanks are water cooling jacket tanks. In these tanks, haifa and fermentation can be well managed. This unique process in sake making is called parallel multi fermentation, which the Japanese are proud of. Stirring the mash by rods controls the speed of the fermentation. Hakai-san takes its original style by stirring every morning and every evening. It is an essential work that is not to be missed during the long and low temperature fermentation period. This graph shows the temperature change of Modori mesh. The mean temperature is 10 degrees Celsius and does not exceed 13.5 degrees Celsius. Because the temperature is kept low, it requires a longer time, but it assures stable yeast activity. The Moromi temperature is always monitored by an auto thermal sensor, but Hakai-san does not fully rely on machines alone. Workers always check the temperature visually, making sure that the temperature is strictly controlled. This is also representing Hakai-san's thorough posture for making high quality sake. The reason why Hakai-san limits only three tons of rice per preparation tank is because Hakai-san believes that proper stirring by humans is limited to a maximum of three tons. Furthermore, because the koji is made manually, a large volume for a larger tank does not guarantee the quality Hakai-san aims to achieve. The new fundamental principles of sake making cannot be compromised regardless of the use of modern machinery. The maromi after 28 days of fermentation is then transferred to the press room for filtration, where the malt is separated into pure sake and sake deposit. Two press machines are used for a load of maromi from one tank. Each press machine slowly presses for 24 hours. Hakai-san sake making produces a large volume of sake deposit. This means Hakai-san sake is clear and rich. Fresh Hakai-san sake is now brewed. The new brewed untreated sake is then moved to an adjacent filtration area and to be pasteurized and then it is stored for maturing until it is bottled. Hakai-san sake does not need to settle for sedimentation removal. It is because the raw rice is finely polished, carefully steamed for good quality koji making, long-term low temperature fermentation and light pressing leaving a large volume of deposit. These fundamental brewing processes Hakai-san takes produces the finest and clearest quality sake and does not produce sedimentation. The number two kowagura is built to realize this fundamental and essential posture of Hakai-san. Three tons of moromi in a tank isn't much for a facility this large, but here again, Hakai-san's policy for making sake is faithfully kept. Gifted spring water from the god Daiden is used for Hakai-san sake.